Are you a fan of how beautiful hardwood, natural hardwood looks in the home? It can provide a rich, elegant look. Uh, but I wanted to teach and uh, help you understand a little bit about what goes into maintaining that look, as well as the cost associated with it. Hi there, my name is Jake Leppo. I'm a manager here at uh, Floors and Kitchens today. And I just wanted to talk a bit about moisture levels in hardwood. Uh, first, I'd like to discuss two of the uh, harmful effects of humidity and moisture with hardwood floors. Both humidity and moisture have to be maintained for the acclimation and installation period of your new flooring. Uh, humidity you want to have in a range between 30 and 50 percent. Uh, please see our website or ask one of our in-store experts for more information on how to maintain this. As for moisture, uh, there are some wonderful moisture readers on the market today that will cost you about $50. Uh, that'll help protect your investment in the long term. The moisture should be maintained between 6 and 9 percent in a standard uh, humidity and temperature range. Uh, next, I'd like to talk a little bit about acclimating the hardwood to your home. Uh, before the hardwood is ever installed, you do want to have an acclimation period where the wood is sitting in the space that it will be installed in. This really depends on the width of the board. Uh, standard widths are going to be two and a quarter and three and a quarter. You can get away with three to five days acclimation period before installation. Anything wider than that, you want to have a good seven days sitting in that space uh, for proper uh, acclimation. Next, I wanted to discuss a little bit about maintaining and cleaning the products, uh, such as I would highly recommend microfiber mops and sweeping. Also, preventatively, you want to have walk-off mats at the entrances and exits of your home, uh, and also take off boots when uh, entering the home. Some things that I would never recommend you do with a, a nice hardwood floor is use any harsh chemicals to clean, such as bleach, ammonia, uh, steaming, you cannot do as well as I wouldn't recommend waxing. Sometimes when you see a nice waxed wood floor, that's because that company does that every single day, and I don't know many people that want to do that every single day for their home. One additional thing I wanted to just add is you do have to take into account the additional costs for those maintenance products such as the microfiber mop and the uh, cleaning materials. The mops usually are about $50. The cleaning materials range from $10 to $20 if you get a nice quality uh, rinse-free cleaner. One of the important things about maintaining your hardwood as well is making sure that you're consistent. You want to be using what the manufacturer of that hardwood recommends as a cleaner and only using that. You don't want to be mixing and matching. That might cause some discoloration or some negative effects. So just using one cleaner uh, should provide the best results. Be sure to read our additional articles on some really uh, helpful information, as well as checking out our other videos, uh, especially on our moisture reading. And uh, please call us, ask our in-store experts if you have any questions whatsoever. All links and contact info is in the description below. If you like the content in this video, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our videos to see more content like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching.